Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. And today we are building Bricksburg. How are you guys doing today? Hi, Max. Max? Hi. Say hi. There you go. Thanks, Max. Max says hi. How are you guys doing? We have a fun, exciting stream planned for today. We're going to build some high rises in Ninjago District. You guys have asked that we go back to more building during the streams and less sightseeing. And I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so today we're gonna build. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build as many skyscrapers as we can. And we're not gonna work on the inside, the interior, just the outside. And we're not gonna add a ton of details yet because we're gonna add details later on, like some big giant signs and lots of cool things. Uh, to give the building some detail, but for now we're just gonna sort of build the frames. Max, okay. For now we're gonna build the frames of the buildings, just so we have a bunch of cool buildings. We're gonna build them across the bay here from Ninjago District, a bunch of high rises. Now let me show you guys some great inspiration that I found. Where is it? Uh, and by the way, hi, hey guys. You want me to make the Titanic? Okay, we might do that someday. One of our friends, Coles made the Titanic. You have to check them out on YouTube. Um, okay, you guys, check this out. So I went through some Google images and I found some really cool images. Now, if you ever need inspiration, you can go on Google images and you can search for skyscrapers. You can search for Lego towers, Lego buildings, anything like that. And you're going to find some pretty sweet stuff. So let me show you guys some of the things I found. Okay, check this out. So look at that building. Isn't that neat? I like how it's like green surfaces on the roof. And these are things that we can build. These giant crossbars, we can do stuff like that. So basically I wanted to find buildings that we could actually build in Lego worlds, you know, from the available bricks that we have. And we can do things like this. It's just a great way to get inspiration. You know, if you're like, oh, I don't know what to build. Well, go online and do a search. Look at that. Isn't that neat? The way that tower does that. Um, and this is cool. These are vectors. They're called vector images. So they're, you know, they're stylized artistic stuff but it gives you good ideas for shapes that you could build uh, um, for skyscrapers more of those I mean look at all this look at these great ideas there's no reason to be out of good ideas when you're building with Lego because the sky is the limit see what I did there <laughs> okay so in this episode that that one would be kind of difficult it's cool but it'd be kind of difficult in this episode that's neat we're gonna focus on building some of these um we're gonna try to get them up as quickly as possible are there any more no there's no more okay and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that um i also sketched out some ideas for floor plans let me show you guys this really quick so if you're looking straight down well some of these are top down if you're looking straight down at a building i thought it would be cool to have some shapes kind of like the ones you see here like the octagon shape this kind of shape. I was just, I was looking through my, my Ninjago book. Hang on. I was looking through my sweet Ninjago book, you know, about Ninjago City and Ninjago movies. And I was looking at some of these cool buildings they have in Ninjago City. And I was just thinking, okay, what shapes are these? And these are the different shapes that I came up with after looking at those. So we're going to use that as a guide. Okay. Um, hi, uh, reminder, I am Blake. Okay, Andy, Blake, I will try to remember that. I'll do my best. Andy Blake, Andy Blake. Okay, that should work. A, B, huh, Andy Blake. All right. Hey, Jasper, how's it going? Bean says, I'm not sure if you've done this already, but yet, uh, yet, but could you have some glowing bricks behind some of the windows uh, to simulate having lights on in some rooms? Yes. We haven't really done much of that yet, but I think that's a great idea, especially at night. It looks really nice. Bonjour, H2O. Comment allez-vous? Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Chicken. Hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Christian. Hi, Cell. Hi, Joris. Hi, guys. Hi, Fred. My goodness, there's so many people here. How? Hi, how's it going? Hi. Okay, let's spin this guy and let's get started. We also, if we have time, we also have some cool models that you guys contributed on Discord. Let me show you guys some of these. They're super cool. Um, it's a UFO made by our friend Moimus, right? And some of the links to the, our friend's videos are in our friends YouTube channels are in the video description so be sure to check out their channels this one is by our friend Moimus can I get any bigger with that zoom in 
It's a UFO and it's coming at, oh, you can't see it. Sorry, let me turn off that. <laughs> it's a UFO and it's coming at us from our friend Moimus. Okay, let's close that out. And then uh, our friend Link Remastered built this super cool uh, Master Serpent Shen brick build. I believe this is a set based on a set. And then we have a basketball court built by our friend Gaming Super Tippy. That's pretty sweet. So if we have time, you guys, we're going to get these placed. But I want to focus more on uh, Ninjago District and getting those built today. Um, remember, if you guys have ideas um, for what to build, I can't really write them down during the video. So the best place to put those is on Discord. Let me get a link for that in here. Best place to put them is on Discord or on my website, designer slash gamer.com. That's where I go to look when we look for ideas. Okay. And you can also build things. You guys can build stuff and submit them on Discord and we'll put them in Bricksburg for you. Okay. Let's get to work. Enough chit chat, right? I did want to show you guys one more inspiration thing though. Check this out. So you go on Google image search, right? You type in Lego skyscraper and look at all this beautiful stuff that you're greeted with. Look at this, look at this great inspiration. I mean, look at that building, it's fantastic. And you don't need to copy them exactly. I mean, you can if you want, but you could just say, oh, hey, I like how there's this cool uh, awning up here at the top of the building, or I like the way they did the gray and the blue and the brown, or I like the way the bottom of the building is different from the upper parts of the building and there's different shapes to different things. So just take what you like, like that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I wanna save that. We're gonna save this as one of our inspiration images because I really like that building. Okay, let me just get that into our folder here. Buildings, we're gonna drag it and drop it. Wait, we're on the right folder. There it is, okay, cool. That is really cool. That's really neat. And you can, I mean, we can't build it exactly like that, you know, because we don't have all these bricks, but we could build it pretty similar. Okay, anyway, let's get to work. Now that we have tons of great inspiration. Now, um, as I'm working, Feel free to shout out your ideas, and I will try my best, you guys, to watch the chat and to put your ideas into practice as I'm building. Okay, let's move this over here. Let's move that. Let me see. Um, let me try to find our first building here that we want to do. What do we want to do first? And now remember, we're just building the outside frame, the overall building. We're not going to add a ton of detail, just going to get a nice shape in. And then later on, we're going to add details, um, you know, like lit up signs and, you know, these these uh, letters and things like that to give it more detail, change colors. Let's head over, actually, let's spin the sky. It's dark. We're gonna spin the sky and then we're gonna head over to Ninjago, to our Ninjago district. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly where we're gonna, where we're gonna be building some of these great buildings. Okay, let's put that away. Jump, Max, jump. Oh, what a beautiful jump. Look at that, look at that backflip. Um, if you guys want to see this building, be sure to check out our last stream. This was made by our friend Jasper, and it's a fantastic church. Tons of great detail. And we showed that off in the end of the last stream. So be sure to check it out. Okay, let's go into Ninjago District. And then uh, Ahmed says, Hi DSJ, I love your videos. Thank you, Ahmed. Glad you like them. I love making videos. I'm glad there's people out there that watch them. <laughs> okay, let's go to, let's go down to the marketplace. Check that out really quick. How do we get down there? Ninjago City is a twisted mess of awesomeness and I wouldn't have it any other way. How do we get down there though? That way, okay, let's go this way. Come on, Max. Down here to the marketplace, which is right over here. Um, if you guys didn't see this yet, we worked on this marketplace in the last few episodes. Um, I don't think it was the last episode, but it was like the episodes before that. So be sure to check out those episodes because we had a great time doing it. Okay, so let's uh, jump in the water. Swim across the water. And here's what we're gonna do. We're going to put these high rises on this side of the water over here, like in this area. So let's get rid of this stuff really quick. Um, let's use the remove tool. Let's make that nice and, no, not a sphere, whoops. I just wanna, 
I want a cube. And then chat with me, you guys. Chat with me. Let me know what you think about the city. Let me know as I'm building what you guys think. If you have some great, you guys always have brilliant ideas for how we can shape things. So be sure to let me know what you think. And if you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Not only does it help the channel, but it also tells me what you guys like to see. And I wanna know what you guys like to see on the channel. And if, oh, I'm pretty sure you like to see this. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, let's see, what are you guys saying? If you went to Hogwarts, what house would you be put in? Slytherin. No, I'm kidding. Uh, maybe Gryffindor? Um, build your tower from Lego Tower. That's a good idea, Alex. On a building you're not planning on having an interior, maybe along with the lights, you could also have a little room that you can just see through the window. It'd be easy to copy and paste. Yeah, you're saying, is we're not gonna build a whole interior, but we could build a room that you could see through a window. I like that idea. Um, we're not gonna focus on that in this stream though. We're just gonna get some big towers built, but I like that idea. What basically what Beans is saying is just take like a window and build a whole room inside there so that if you go near the tower, you can look and you can see that there's actually something in there. Okay, um, let's get started. What do I wanna build first? That's the question. There's so many options. Um, let me just find something here quickly. Let's get started with a more simple, a simple building. So let me pull up my inspiration and you guys can just chat amongst yourself for a second here. And let me see, how about, Hmm, how about, where is it? There's one I really liked. Of course, I like them all. It's so hard to make decisions. Oh, you guys, look at this, too. Shiny ball syndrome, sorry, but this is so cool. I gotta show this to you. This is from Coruscant. I think, yeah, this is Coruscant from Star Wars. We should build that. Oh, that needs a whole stream though. Just that one building would need a whole stream, but I think it'd be cool. And that looks like that could fit in Ninjago City. Okay, let me just narrow it down here and pick one. <laughs> we'll get going. All right, what are you guys saying in the chat? The H is not silent in my name. Oh, so let me see if I can do that. Ahmed. Is that right? Ahmed? Um, Blake says, tell us all of your videos for Jurassic World. What do you mean, Blake? Kimberly, can you recreate the Lion King in Lego Worlds? I don't know how I would do that, Kimberly. It'd be cool though. Okay, I need to focus here and pick a building. We need to pick a building and we get started building. So most of these buildings are gonna be grays, just simple colors. Cause what I wanna do is add bright color stuff to them, you know, like lights and giant signs and like big murals, the stuff that you see in Ninjago City. But I don't want the buildings to be too brightly colored cause they'll get a little bit distracting. So let me just pick a building here and let's get started. Oh, indecision. Indecision. Um, let me just make this smaller. How about this one? That's a pretty simple building. I think we start with that. We can figure out how to do these braces. I think we should do that. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here on my other monitor and we're gonna go. We're gonna do it. Um, hi, HR Ho, how's it going? Correct, okay, Ahmed. 
Um, Julie, my master, Julie Master says, I haven't watched you in a long time. Have you built any fire police stations? We do have one fire station in Ivory City. And actually, I think there's one here too. But I'm not totally sure. I think there's one here. Yeah, actually, I'm, I am sure there is one here in Bricksburg. So yes, to answer your question. <laughs> okay, let me see here. So this is going to be... Let's figure out the floor plan of this. So let's go to free build. Let's go to the build tool. And we just want to build... I'll figure out the bottom. Like, I want the bottom to be a different shape, different size than the top part. But for right now, I'm just going to build the main structure of the building, and then we'll add, we'll add to it. So I don't know why I always like to build with the 2x4 brick. It's just from my childhood, it's kind of like the brick I had. Because <laughs> the boxes we always got of Lego, we my parents got us that big, like, you know, the big random box with all the stuff in it, nothing specific. And it just had tons of these 2x4 bricks, so I just really like building with them. Um, this is mostly glass. So why don't we start with, why don't we start with um, transparent light blue? And let's just, let's build a window and some mullions around it and then we'll copy and paste that. So how big do we want this to be? Let's see. How about we build, it's already nighttime, where does the time go? Let's do this. Let's build a big, oh shoot, okay. That always bugs me when it does that. Here, let's, let's do it on this side. <laughs> There's an easy fix for that, and I'll show you guys later on. If, if you're seeing the lines, like, see how those lines show up like that, the surfaces? They don't always show up in clear bricks, but they do sometimes, and there's an easy fix for it, and if you guys remind me, I will show you how to fix that later. Do you guys hear Max swimming? Max, will you get out of the water, buddy? Okay, so we're just gonna make one window that we can copy and paste. And we're gonna frame it with black. Okay. Now, let's switch to... Oh my gosh, Max, that is very distracting. <laughs> oh my gosh, Max. <laughs> Let's do the one by one plate. And let's go with black. Max, would you please get out of the water, buddy? Can I get him out of the water if I go this way? There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and figure out a frame for this window. Now, it's not gonna have any dimension here, so let's just, actually, you know what I should do? Let's do the one by two tile, you guys. One by two tile in black, plate, rather. We're gonna rotate it, and then we're going to click and drag, and we're gonna create this nice mullion around the window. Now, I'm not gonna put on any on the bottom because I wanna copy paste this. So there'll be a top portion, but then that way if I don't put any black on the bottom, then it'll be easier to copy and paste. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so we want this thickness to be the same on the top. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think two of these will be about the same thickness. Yes, beautiful, okay. So now, now my friends, we're going to copy just this portion. And we're gonna use our quick copy tool. We don't need to save that as a copy, so we're gonna do that. And then, looks like we have everything. Now, let's go ahead and just place a bunch of these. Let's see, so looking at, this is our inspiration. Let me just remind you guys, that's our inspiration. So we're gonna do a, like a whole row of windows, right? Uh, let me check the chat. You guys, I'll check the chat for as long, or as, as much as I can. Wait a minute, so we don't wanna do it like that, because then the window mullion will be too wide. So what I should have done, let me just redo this. What I should have done was just copy this portion, right? Because then, we get a repeatable section. Is that right? Yes, okay. Then all I have to do is that. Whoops, let me rotate it. Then we get this. 
Oh, but then we have that problem. Okay, so let me show you guys how to fix that. <laughs> you guys are just asking in that. So all you have to do to fix that problem is you take a, and I can't remember who told us how to do this. One of you guys did. I don't remember if it was Jasper. One of you guys, and I had no idea how to fix this, and you guys were like, here's how you do it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. So take a one by one plate in the same color, the transparent blue in this case, and you're gonna turn on overlap, and then all you're gonna do is put that inside the brick somewhere. And that will give you, usually it doesn't need to be the whole, put it wherever you see the brick lines showing and that's going to break them apart for you and then you'll still like if you look really closely there you can kind of see that it's multiple small bricks but it doesn't show off any of the lines so that fixes that problem for you whoops so what we'll do is we'll just copy this we'll copy this section instead of the last section so that if this happens again we don't need to worry about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this all through here. Sometimes you have to do it in more than one location. It would be easier just to use the, it would be easier probably just to use your one by one plates all the way up. So you don't ever run into that problem. But let's just do this. And if we see that again, we'll fix it. But hopefully, we won't see this issue popping up again. But that's how you fix that. Okay. So, let's go back to our copy tool. Let's copy this side now. And then let's make our building bigger. All right. Do I have to rotate it? No. Yes. Rotate. Okay. So this will help us to build a skyscraper very quickly. Now what we could do is change it up a little teeny bit and make a, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Let me just get this around the building. Maybe we'll make it about, let's make it about that big. Eh, maybe a little wider. We don't want it to be like crazy ginormous, but it is a skyscraper after all. Okay, now that we're on the corner, um, we just need to make sure that we're doing this so let's do let's do that because we'll figure out we'll figure out that corner later on. Um, so here we had that issue. So let's go ahead and fix that issue really quick here. Now this time I'm going to copy this new section. So hopefully we won't run into this again. It's an easy fix though. I just don't like seeing those brick outlines bugs me okay that's nice all right now let's copy the new one because this one actually should work perfect for us okay so let's go ahead and remove this and then we're gonna build out the sides a little bit just so we can build those cool cross braces did I cut some of the ground no good I guess I did. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we just need to take this, copy this section. Okay. And then we're going to step it back a tiny bit. Probably not more than like one, because then we have space to build that cool, that cool system of crossbars and stuff. So yeah, let's come back to one here. But I wonder actually if I should line it up with that one. Does that line up? Yeah. Mm, I actually kind of like seeing the mole in there. So let's do it like this. Yes. Okay. So let's come out to. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Whoops. 
We gotta line them up. Okay. Okay, let's actually come out three. No, no, that's two, two. Three is too many. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we've got the right shape for the building. So now we can actually continue the building back this way. Oh, whoops. Let's fix that. <laughs> okay. We did fix it, but the thing is I undid the copy of the one we fixed, so it's okay. We're gonna have to put them down here too. Sometimes it's better, like I built with the two by four in the windows, but sometimes it's better to use a larger brick to build with because then if you run into this issue, you only have to break up the brick once. You don't have to break it up several times like I'm having to do here. If that makes any sense. We get it all? I think we got it all. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and finish the shape, the overall shape of this. And then we can start building those cool cross braces. Um, you could curve it a bit. Uh, what do you mean, beans? Which part would you want to curve? Are you talking about curving the sides here? Um, oh, never mind then. <laughs> I think I missed that. If you want to do lights and the small rooms, it's best to do them now. Are you talking about before we build the whole tower? Yeah, I agree. Um, let's get the whole shape of the first level built and then we'll put some lights in. Okay. So let's go ahead and drop this down. And let's see how big, do I don't think we want it to be as deep as we want it to be more rectangular shaped. So let's just go back. Let's go back five. Let's go back six so it's even. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we'll rotate it. And I think the back. Do I want to do the back the same? Yeah. Let's do the same on the front and the back. We'll do that, and then we come forward, and we do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Just trying to line it up, match it with this side as much as possible. Okay, then this, hopefully this will all line up here. Yes, beautiful. If you guys are just joining, we are building this awesome skyscraper in our Lego Ninjago City. Curve is a bit of a stretch, but I mean with the front panels, you could shape them more and make it out to make it just a, you mean put more detail. Yeah, um, I think curving, yeah, we might be able to do something. I wanna kinda just stick to the basic overall shape of this because I really like the way this looks so but what we'll probably do though is just sort of build build the structure and then we can come back and add more detail to it so let's go ahead and add some lights in here um oh wait actually we want the lights to look kind of random so maybe I want to put the lights in later because if we put lights in now like I thought it'd be cool to put a whole panel of lights behind some of these windows to make, to, to make it look like some of them are turned on. But if we do that now and we copy the whole structure, it's going to look too repetitive. Let me show you what I'm talking about, you guys. Um, so we'll do this after just because otherwise it'll look too repetitive. So let's take our 1x6x5 brick and let's maybe do fluorescent blue let's say so as we're when we finish the building we'll just light up some of these panels 
Let's keep overlap on. Just so it looks like some of the lights in the building are on. So we come up to like, I don't know, I guess up to there. So we would do that in random windows throughout. Now we're probably actually gonna have to block the rest of the windows so you can't see through them. Otherwise it'll look like, you know, it'll look like um, the building is, is empty. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and paint this. Let's actually undo that. And we're gonna just do these. We're gonna cover the window with black, with black bricks. We're gonna cover all the windows. And then we'll end up just painting some of them. We'll end up painting some of them um, to make to give some variation. So let's see, how many bricks do we have in there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So then let's do the two by eight brick. Because that'll be easy to paint. And we're just gonna click and drag that up to cover this whole window. So we'll block off the windows, but we'll paint some of them in a light color. After we're done building, let's actually copy that and put it around the entire tower. Okay. Now the reason why I'm building these individually is because then it'll be easy to paint some of them randomly after we've built the whole building. Whoops. Okay, then as soon as I'm done doing this, I'm gonna check the chat and I'm gonna see what you guys are saying. Okay, that part's gonna be a little tricky. To turn on overlap for this part. Whoops. Kidding? Okay. Um, what are you guys saying in the chat? Do the rooms, then copy it two or three times, then light up some of them after. Um. You want me to build individual rooms? Now, I kind of want to just get the structure of the whole building done first, and then we can pick, we'll pick a few random windows to actually create rooms inside after we do that. Okay, so once we complete this, we can copy the entire structure, and we can very quickly build a massive, massive skyscraper. But actually, before we copy all of these, we're gonna build those cool cross braces on the sides. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we have all the all the windows blocked up, and it's gonna be easy just to paint a few of them. Um, let's build the cross braces now. So let's see, let me look at these cross braces. So we can use our sloped bricks and just build two different versions. You know, one that goes to the right and one that goes to the left. Okay, so let's see here. What sloped bricks should we use? And I kind of like the variation here. You know how this is a slightly different shape down here than this part. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go back to square one. How can we build a brace that's going to go, that's going to cover this exactly in the middle and be able to be copied up the side? What if we just... And the slope can't touch the ground because it has to be 
it has to be like be able to be connected right so we'd have to do the same one there wait we want to go to the edge we want to go here same one there and same one here so maybe the best approach is to try to just or actually I want to go just to the glass so here and here and there Then that'll sit. Hmm. Let's try this. We already discovered this was going to be too long, though. Yeah. But we could come up a few. So what about something like this? What if we do this here, and then this? And then we try that again. And see what happens. Closer. We're getting closer. It's all trial and error. Let's do this and this and then a slope. You know what I kind of want to do though? I kind of want to get fancy with it, you guys. <laughs> I want to do. What do we have? We had the two by three inverted. What if we do a one by three inverted slope? Where is it? There it is. So we'll do this one in the back. This is gonna be cool. Okay, that, does that line up? Lines up. Okay, and then what if we do in the front the one by two, inverted slope. Now we're getting somewhere, you guys. Now we're getting somewhere. Like this. Because then there's like something cool happening. Not just, you know. Um, okay, let's see how we can cap this off so that it goes the other way. Um, what if we do... What if we do... Two by two slopes on the back side. Like this. What's that gonna do? It's different on the top and the bottom, but it would still line up though. What do you guys think? What if we do... Mm, I don't like anything there. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't mind it. It's, I don't know if I like... <laughs> I don't know if I like how it looks chunky up here though and skinny down there. It looks like that's kind of weird. Oh, is it because I didn't put this here? <gasps> that's why. Okay, that's actually not bad. What do you guys think? Maybe add a 2x2 two two tile right below the round plate with some round 1x1 one one tiles or flower plates. Add a two by two tile right below the round plate. Two by two tile right below the round plate. Do 
Do you mean below this round plate? Just for some extra detail? You know what we could do? The radiator grill. What if we do this? What if we do the radiator grill? Well, here, obviously. Cover up the studs. Just so it looks complete. And then what if we do... Like, Hugar, I think you were saying to add more detail to this section, so what if we do that? I kind of like that. Maybe here, too? Just so it has a little more interest. Problem is, though, is this going to look weird? It's not bad. Okay, so if this is connecting there, let's see, what will that look like if we do it here? Okay. Mm, I don't like that. Okay, so now we should have a repeatable section. So let me just quickly copy these. Let me copy this window up here, and let's see what that'll look like. This is all the setup, you guys. This is the part that takes a long time. But once we get it all figured out, the rest of it is going to be a breeze because we'll have a fully, let me copy the back part. We'll have a building that's completely ready to be copied and pasted. Um, okay. Did I get the whole thing? Nope. Ah. There we go. We don't want that part though. Perfect, I think. I don't like how you can see the studs on the inside of the windows though, so maybe we'll do something about that. Okay, is that right? Yeah, okay. So now, let's just see what the brace looks like if we copy it. And put it up there. Copy. Look at that. Almost got it perfectly. I hope this looks good. Let's see. Will it line up? Oh, man. Oh, that's right, because it lines up to the edge of the window. Okay. Let's see. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. We finally did it, you guys. So then this will just go up the whole building like that. Pretty. What did I miss? What are you guys saying? Uh, Brandon, when do you... When you do the next move in live stream, can I be Snow Dragon? And my favorite color is white. Yes, yeah, so if you want to be moved in, just make sure you come to the live stream. Because I've... I've done the thing before where I've made a list, but I think that gets really boring for people that are watching. So just make sure you come to the live stream whenever we have it and we'll get you moved in live. That's more fun anyway. Okay. I like it. Kinda. <laughs> it needs, it needs to look a little more symmetrical in here. I, it needs like, I don't know. It just needs to, It needs to be the same. Hang on. This detail is important, you guys, because the whole building is going to have this. So we want it to look like, you know, it's well thought out. I'm going to take out the grill plates for now because I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. 
So let's do the same thing then. Or these come together. Like that. No. I want the square plate for now. Okay. So that's the same as there. That's round, square, and then maybe we'll do grill. Okay. And then what if we do, can we fit? Can we fit? Oh, we can't put it exactly in the middle. It's okay. That's okay. We'll just do, you guys were saying flower plates. We could do flower plates just to fill up the section, just to give it some extra detail. I like that. Okay. That's better. But then if we try and copy that, it needs to be the same up here as it is down there. So let's just make sure we do the same thing. Okay, let's get rid of these things. It's looking better though, you guys. If I do say so myself. Okay, so we have that. Then we have a round plate. And then we have just a regular two by two plate. And then grill plates. Yes. I think it's gonna work. Okay, now when we copy that and drop it down directly on top, it'll be perfect. Done. No, it's not done. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. I wanna cap off these studs though. I don't like the way the studs look inside there. So let's just put a black A black flat tile. We'll turn on overlap and we're gonna drop that inside there. Oh, you know what we should do? We should give it a little dimension. So let's just search for some extra detail. I kind of like to build the overall shape and then add detail later. So for some extra detail, why don't we drop in... Let's do that. Oops. Yeah. Just so you're not looking at like a totally flat surface. And then we can just copy that whole thing. I want to put it on the lower level too, but that is looking great. Okay, let me, I'm going to save this actually, this piece. Let's copy just the upper part. We'll save it as a model. Why didn't it get the whole... What the heck? That's odd it didn't get the whole... All the bricks from there. Let's try a wider box. What? Why are you doing this? Maybe if we adjust this a little bit. It's kind of a glitch. Why aren't you getting the whole thing? See that some of the squares are missing from inside there. Dang it. Here, let me try a different method. Let's try just coming from this point. What the heck? It still won't get them. Hmm. 
Did I miss any questions in the chat, you guys? Thanks for hanging out for all this. Hey, Joel, how's it going? What are you building today? We are building in Ninjago City. We're working on this. This is our inspiration. We're building a skyscraper. And I'm trying to copy the window, but it's not copying for me. Why aren't you copying the blocks that I want? Why would it do that? Maybe I'll have to just do that manually. That stinks. Why won't you work right? Uh, what if I try a larger box? Let's see. Who knows? I'm desperate at this point. Nope. Still won't get it. Okay. Well... For whatever reason, that doesn't want to work, so I'm just going to have to do that manually. I'll do that off camera. So then, now we'll just copy... I guess we'll just copy a window here. Without the cool part in the inside. We'll just copy this. Oh, I was hoping it would work. No! Fine, whatever. Fine game. You want to be like that? Okay, we don't need the bottom two. I'll take it anyway. Okay. Wait, what if I... No. No, okay. We're going to call this window 1A for no particular reason. Okay. Let's fill up the rest of the windows here. Window. One. Okay, we need to line up with the roof, which I think is, nope. What am I doing? There we go. Oh, you guys look! It did copy it. Even though it wasn't there, it copied it. It copied the window correctly. Thank goodness. Okay, that's weird. So it wasn't showing up right, but it did copy right. Good, okay. That's great. Am I doing those wrong? Yeah. <laughs> That one's wrong, too. Oh, I added that. I get it. No, they're right. I just added that. Got it. Okay, never mind. Sorry, guys. This is right. This is right. Okay, cool. Look at this. We're finally getting a building here. Look at that. All right. Okay, then once we get a full floor, oh no. I'll have to fix that later. Once we get a full floor, um we can copy the whole thing. This is a really big building, you guys. The nice thing about building a bunch of cool skyscrapers back here is that it's going to give our city a lot more detail, more interest. Okay. So you guys, be sure you come hang out with us later on today on the Nintendo channel, because guess what we're playing? We're playing a classic SNES game Super Metroid. It's going to be crazy fun. Let me put a link to my channel. There we go. 
All right, did I miss any questions? If you guys have a question for me, the easiest way to ask me is to make sure you at mention my name because then it highlights the question and I can see it that you're talking directly to me. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see in the chat. Hi, Panda, how's it going? Oh, so much better, you guys. Okay, let's drop in these, replace those. And then actually, I kind of want to replace the ground level ones too. Let's just do that really quick. Would that be like that? Yeah. Beautiful. Whoops. Not so beautiful. There we go. This way we have that nice detail around the whole building. And then we can copy those awesome braces all the way up the building. Is this right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to fix that issue with the glass later. What am I doing? Wait, no, that was right. <laughs> okay. Um, Panda, you're doing good. I'm doing good, too. Thanks for asking. Did I miss any of the questions, you guys? Build a cloud town in Ivory City. Well, we have, um, we have Elle's house up there in the clouds. So I think that would be cool to add more buildings. So that is a good idea. We should build a cloud cuckoo land here in Bricksburg, up in the sky. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, that looks really nice. Good, okay, let's go ahead and copy, copy the brace over here, put it on the other side, and then, actually, let me take this out first. And then, we'll copy an entire level before we end the stream, just so you guys will have an idea of what the whole building is gonna look like. I'm glad we got an entire level built. Oh, we need to figure out the corner first. What do we do in the corner? Let's do something interesting in the corner. Something cool. Let's do... Let's do... And you know what, actually you guys, before I copy the whole building, I really should fix the glass. Sorry, let me fix this really quick. Transparent light blue, all right. Yeah, let's do the one by two plate. Okay, so we're gonna fix this issue in the glass really quick. Okay, then we don't have the glass doing that weird funny thing. Yay! Okay, where else do we have that happening? Is there one other place? Right here. I wish I would've known about this trick back when I was building the ivory tower for the first time. <laughs> because this kept happening and I was like, what the heck? So I ended up just changing the windows entirely and moving the locations so that they wouldn't do this. Because I don't like the way that looks. Okay, is that all of them? Now there's more! It's fine, we can do it fast. We can enjoy the beautiful background that is Ninjago City as we do this. It's beautiful back there. Okay, is that all of them? Is that all of them? That's all of them, I think. Yes. Ha! They're all fixed. Great. Okay. Um, I don't know why I yelled that. Sorry. Let's copy the brace. Let's actually save it as a file. Let's 
Is that how it's going to stack? Actually, no. We just want to copy. We'll wait. We want it to be the same on the other side. Oh, shoot. I should just hang on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to copy because the brace is going to be slightly different on the bottom of the building than it is on the rest of the building. So I'm going to, for now, I'm just going to copy one brace. Does that do anything else up there? Yeah. And then we'll copy just the section that we need to copy. Okay. So let's put this over here. Just like that. All right. Yep. Cool. Okay. Beautiful. Now we can copy. Actually, we have to copy the entire thing if we want the brace to copy correctly. Okay, here's what we'll have to do. Because it's a little different down here than it is right there. So, let's... Let's just make sure it matches. Should have done this earlier. Um, so we're going to copy from this section. Down. I get it right? Yeah. Okay. Just needs to match. Like that. There we go. Now it matches. For ease of copying. Okay, so now that that's done, let's figure out the corners really quick. And then we can copy the entire building and we're gonna do it before we end the stream. Um, did I miss anything in the chat? Any questions for me? Red dye, you're gonna destroy our city? Why, why would you do that? It's a beautiful city. We've worked hard on this city. You know, you could, if you want to destroy Bricksburg, you can download it from the website. You can go in there and you can destroy it. If you do, post pictures for us. <laughs> I'd be curious to see what Bricksburg looks like being destroyed. Um, okay, so we're going to copy the whole thing. We need to make sure it lines up properly. So we need to do the same brick on the bottom of the corner as the top because it needs to line up right so let's let's start with that and then let's do something cool let's do something unique let's give it some detail let's do a round plate here and a round plate here we want to do the same thing on both cuz it's going to be copied Um, what if we do, what if we do that? Wait, let's make that a little chunkier. Um, and maybe we'll do some lights on it. Oh, I had a really good idea, you guys. Let's do a, let's light it up. Where's blue? Fluorescent blue. Yeah. And then let's do another black one. A 
Another blue one. Actually, maybe I want the whole thing to be striped like that. I kind of like that, you guys. Let's make sure we get one of the black plates, too. Not two black plates, just one. Ah! Like that. Let's change it up in the middle, though. So we'll have... One, two... Three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that the same number? Yeah. And then maybe in the middle it'll be a little different. Maybe we just do... Let's do these, the grooved brick in black. Is that the same number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think so. Hope so. Seemed like it was the same. Four and four, and then we'll do something different in the middle there. Oh yeah, look at that. Right where the brace comes. I didn't even realize I was doing that. Um, let's do the grill plates, the radiator grills in here, and we'll, maybe we'll alternate them. Just want to make sure our building has some nice amount of detail. Oh, I guess we can't really do that to the whole center, all right. Um, so then in the center now, we'll just do, let's go back to the basics and let's just do, well, let's do round, rounded tiles, okay. Yeah, that's cool. What do you guys think of the corner? Fun, right? Um, did I miss anything in the chat? Sam, how long's left on the stream? Not long. Um, I just need to copy the corners, put them around the building, and then we're going to copy an entire level, and we're going to start building the building taller just before we end the stream. Let's do that. Okay, so we just need to copy this corner. Just the corner. I just wanted to make a good amount of progress on the uh, tower, and I think we have... Okay, is that the corner? That's the corner. Alright. So now we're going to put the corner around the building. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's neat. Okay. Yeah. Um, do the question is, you guys, I kind of want to light up these two. Change of plans. Let's make this brush really small and let's light up just the back of the brace. Like that. Just the back side of the brace. Oops, not that. Can I get to that? There we go. Okay, let's do this side too. And then we can copy the whole thing. Yay. Okay. Mm 
Nice. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? You like it? You like it? I like it. We're going to light up. So later on, you guys, we're going to light up some random. Let me show you what it looks like. If you guys weren't here earlier, um, let me show you this. We're going to, after we have the whole building built, we're going to light up some random windows throughout the building so that you see some lights on. So it'll look really cool at night. Okay, but we're not going to do that right now because we want it to look random. So now, that's such a beautiful building. It's simple, but it's beautiful. We'll add other other details to it. We'll add maybe some bridges connecting it to the rest of the city. We'll add a cool entry to it as well. But for now, I just want to get the main structure built. So let's go ahead and copy. I hope this all fits in my copy tool. Didn't I already test that? <gasps> Brandon. <laughs> no, no. That's fine, because all we have to do, you guys, is copy half of the building. And we made an even number, so that's not so bad. Kind of stinks, though. I was hoping to get it all in one, but whatevs. Okay, let's copy that. We're just going to do this. And we're going to make sure we have half the building. Do we have half the building? Do I have half the building? Uh, one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's half the building. Um, yeah. But I wonder if I should also get the sidebar to go one more. Yeah, like that. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of the, we don't want the grass at the bottom of the building yeah oh there's only one yeah that makes sense there's one below and there's two up there that's three okay I think that's right okay let's do it okay we're gonna rotate it right yeah we don't have braces on the back side but I can always put those in later if we want them. Okay, just gotta line it up now. That's not lined up. Is that lined up? That's lined up. One, two, three. Yep, that's it. Okay. When I was building the hotel, it was so hard to copy it and paste it because it's such a it's such a giant building. It was really hard to line everything up. Okay. Let's do like maybe two more. Alright. What a cool building. Oh man, that's neat. One more. Make it nice and tall. Just one more. I want this to be a really tall building. Okay. Whoa. Cool. All right. Look at that, you guys. Now, like I said, we're going to add more detail to it later. Um, but we just wanted a nice big skyscraper to get started here. Can I just rotate it? Oh, no, because we don't have the braces on the back side. All right. Now let's copy this part. We want to get right to the middle. Okay, so we're going to take that back to there, take that down to there, yeah. Okay, is that right? Yes. Okay. Here we go. What's over there? What is that? What did it copy? Copied some weird object. It's fine. Okay. So we're not focusing, like I said earlier, we're not focusing on the interior. We're just focusing on the exterior for now. Is that lined up? Not at all. That's lined up. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Even more beautiful. Not really. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss any questions, you guys. I will be sure to check the chat as soon as we... <gasps> oh my goodness. That building makes me so happy. Needs a lot more detail, but that is cool. So what we're going to do, and let me just tell you guys in the future. So in the future, we're going to add... See these cool letters here on the sides of buildings? And these cool murals. Here, let me change that. And these cool murals here, like the Lego heads and there's a crab and all kinds of cool stuff. This building will have more detail on it. And maybe we'll actually build a bridge. I think it'd be cool to maybe build a bridge from this building to the building next to it. Stuff like that. Maybe even a giant bridge from here over or something. We just need, but we just need a bunch of random skyscrapers. Some big shapes to do that. Um, how is your day at Desire Slash Gamer? My day is getting, going great. How about you, Gaming Super Tippy? All right, did I miss anything else in the chat? I think that's about it for now. Um, let's do the windows really quick. Here's an idea for lighting the windows, says Hugar. Maybe add some black bricks to make shadows. Maybe even mini mosaic of shadows. Add... Make two or three and copy the variations across the building randomly. Shadows. Do you mean like maybe the shape of like a Lego minifig? I like that idea. Let's start with painting some of these. Where's my palette? Where is it? Fluorescent blue. Okay, so we're just gonna go down into the down into the building and paint a few of these randomly. And we'll spin the sky and see what it looks like at night. I like the idea of creating shadows. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Whoops. And that one too? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> That's cool. I like that. That's neat. Look at that. What a cool building. I almost want to create some more depth to the windows though, you guys. Here's what I want to do. I want to remove here. Let me show you guys really quick. Sorry, I'm kind of on a roll now. It is funny. At the like one hour and a half or two hour point in the stream, I'm always like starting to hit my stride. <laughs> and like, I don't want to stop because I have some, these great ideas. Um, let's go ahead and carve out one of these windows and I'm going to show you guys what I mean here. I like to use these, um, the landscape tools to uh, sculpt. So we're gonna sculpt out the window and we're just gonna give this window a little bit of depth so that it's not just, whoops. So that you're not just looking at a flat, a totally flat surface. Look at that. Now you're actually looking at an interesting looking window, right? Compared to the other windows, it's not totally flat. There's some dimension there. So the light's gonna hit it differently when you look at it like that. That's how I'm gonna do that off camera, but that's how our windows are going to look. I'm just going to do one more. Yeah. I like that much better. Anywhere you can add details. And you know what we could even do, you guys, is add some detail in the middle of the floor here. Hang on one second. Let's do that really quick. Let's do... Um... Maybe in a different color, like gray. Dark stone gray. Let's put in some rounded tiles here. Between the floors. Maybe like every other. So like this. Start on the edges. Something like that. 
on each of the windows. Like that. Just for some detail. I like that. What do you guys think? Dun, 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 dun. I like that. Because now we have this nice ledge. We have the window with some shape to it. We have some extra detail in there. Um... Did I miss any other things in the chat? Yeah, and I like that idea by Hugar to do some shadows. So you could create like a shape of a Lego character, right? And do a random, do it randomly in front of the windows. That looks good though. What do you guys think of our beautiful, one of our new beautiful, it's huge skyscrapers in Ninjago City. We'll just continue adding detail. We'll change up the ground level. We'll give it a front door. You know, we'll do something cool on the roof, maybe like a cool steeple or something. We'll give it a lot more detail in the future. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining. I will see you later. Don't forget to hit the like button, and you guys have a wonderful few hours. I'll see you on the Nintendo channel later on today. Bye, guys.